some of you have and some of you have not done a index page for the lab section. You should have your web page set up. Now we don't have the first projects done, we'll get, add these next week. But you should have a labs link and a projects link on your home page. And this is roughly what you should have for the index page for your lab section. If you haven't done that, I'm going to go through the process of, re of creating it right now. I already have mine. Mine exists. I'm going to delete it and start over. But if you look at my file structure, I have a Web 175 folder with an index page. Then I have a Labs and a Projects folder. Each of those will end up with index pages as well. We haven't done anything in the projects yet, so it doesn't matter if there's something there or not. But there should be an index page for your labs. I'm going to delete mine. Don't do this if you have one. But if you don't have one, I want you to start from here. If you have one, you can just update it. But I'm going to do a new page, and I'm going to make it HTML, and I'm going to choose I'm just going to choose a plain HTML with nothing on it, and I'm going to make it HTML5. I'm going to hit Create. I'm going to go ahead and go into Design View, because I'm going to keep this as simple as I possibly can. And I'm going to make the title Mary's Labs. And I'm going to and I can do that again here. I can make it Mary's labs. And if you want to make it more attractive, have a blast with CSS. I'm just going to make this H1. And if I wanted to, I could absolutely go in and get totally carried away with styles, which I will do very slightly here. And so I'm going to text align, center, OK. And then I'm also going to just click here. And you'll notice that you can go to Page Properties. And I can do a lot of things here. And the, the only thing I really want to do is set a default font. And that's really all I'm going to do here. All right, so what I want you to do is I'm going to have you create a table, which will be Insert. table, we're going to have, we'll say 15 rows, we're going to add more later. It's going to have two columns. Table width of 80% is fine. Border thickness is fine. Padding, I want a little larger, I'm going to make it 5. I'm going to skip the caption for the summary table. I don't need to say that. Um, lab descriptions, and links to sample pages. And so that's going to put a table in here. Now, what I didn't do that I wanted it to do, I'm going to go ahead and close that. I would like my table to be centered. So I'm going to change that to center. And I'm going to change my alignment a little bit here. This is going to be lab number, and I actually want this column to have be centered and middle aligned. And then this column, I want to be left and top. And this will become my lab description and links. When I hit enter there, that gave me a paragraph. I'm hitting shift enter now. So I'm going to have labs 01, though here I don't have to do that. Lab 1, lab 2, lab 3, 4. 
five. And you can just go ahead and I don't know how many we're going to end up with yet. I'm in the middle of it. You can put in your lab numbers and if you want you can resize that. So I'm going to have the description on the top and the link on the bottom. So my first lab was an introduction page including photos and lab 01 introduction. And if I want to, this is going to be another way of linking. I was showing you how to link a couple different ways already. This one I'm going to go to the folder. I'm going to go to lab 1 and choose index and hit open. And hit OK. And that puts in that link. So lab 2 I can either go and actually open that to check it, or because I've already done this once. Ah, uh, this was my progressive page layout. I'm feeling lazy. I just copied that. Interesting to note, it copies the whole cell here, which is not really what I wanted. What I really wanted was right here. And this is where going to split mode can sometimes be handy. I did not want the table in here. Sometimes if you just grab it right here and delete that, okay. Now I should be able to put that in. And you'll see that these should still work just fine. And then lab 3, creating a web page with a table based layout. Multiple options for creating a link here. You can First you want to create something that's going to become the title for your link. You can either go find it under lab 3 and index. Oh, it wants me to save this. I better save this page file. Save as. And this is going to be index. I don't know. I didn't think I'd hit paste there, but I guess I must have. This is going to be index.html, and that's going to be index for labs. So I'm going to save that there. So now it's the index in the labs section. So lab four. I'm just going to copy this. We didn't actually have something to link to. You could have put your link images in here. You could have put a page with your images in here. You're completely welcome to do that if you so wish. Lab 5, creating a wireframe in Photoshop. Now, the other way you can do the links here, I'm going to bring up my files again. I might just choose to point to the links like this. And if I go here and hover over it, it'll let it link that way. And then six was web fonts and links lab 06 web fonts. I like that. Lab 6 index. This, not completely happy with what it says. I'm going to hop in here to make sure it's all part of it. Lab 05 wireframe. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. And then you want to make sure to upload it. It's going to make me save it. Yeah. 
else. And then you should go out and test it. Slight changes from the last one. That only took me through lab three. Let me make sure I save this first. The star is still here. File, save all. And you always want to go out and refresh it. There we go. So in any case, at the end of the day, this should be updated every time you do a new lab. You want to put a description and a link to it. So you can hand in the link to your index page. So copy that is what you're handing in for this one.